All right, everybody, how you doing? I have a very special video for you today. Another mystery box haul. I don't know what's in here. It was sent to me by my boy Thomas in Hamilton. Uh, it just got in today. I was out doing some shopping. I picked this up first. And uh, so I have no idea what's in here. I'm going to find out right now. But before we move on, I just want to say, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the bell. Do everything you can to help out. Uh, it's free to do it doesn't cost you anything and it really does help out the channel and helps our Zippo community grow And if you're a YouTube content creator and you want your stuff to be seen You want your stuff to get to the top of the search engine start putting hashtag Zippo Mafia in your uh, videos And uh, you can put it in the description title whatever you want uh, also if you are Not a content creator and you're just on YouTube and you want to see other Zippo creators Type hashtag Zippo Mafia into your Zippo into the YouTube search where it says search. Type in hashtag Zippo Mafia search, and you're gonna see everybody's videos. You can already do it right now. I did it this morning. Everybody who put it in their in their tags, uh, their their videos are at the top of the search. I'm seeing I'm seeing Terry's. I'm seeing Droz. I'm seeing Jeremy's. T Man's. Uh, I'm seeing. Uh, Kismets. I'm seeing everybody's videos when they do that, when they put hashtag Zippo Mafia. So now, like I said, if you're enjoy Zippo content and you want to, you don't want to get drowned out by all the other big channels and you want to see the small content creators that do strictly Zippos, type in Zippo Mafia. You will get to see all of them because we're going to all start putting it in our videos. Uh, even like Dependable Flame too. It's not just for Zippo guys too, even just lighter guys. If you want your lighter channel to be seen, it doesn't have to be Zippo. Put that you're part of the Zippo Mafia in there. Uh, you don't need to be friends with me to do it. Okay, everyone. So let's get to this. Uh, I'm pretty damn excited. I don't want to. What I usually do is I'll cut the sides. And there's no per personal information of Thomas anywhere on this box. So. And what I do so I don't cut through is I peel back. I have cut a few boxes already. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, some cotton bacon. Nice. Oh, that's, I can see that right now. So I'm going to see. I'm just going to read this note first off camera. Make sure Thomas wouldn't want anything on it. Okay, so I'm just going to fold it. There's a little personal information. Uh, sorry, I was so brief Saturday. I had a friend over and didn't want to bore him too much with my, with my hobbies. Yes, and you know that's the top 10 things not to do is bore your friends with your Zippo hobby. They will get annoyed. Yes, and I don't blame you, Thomas. Uh, being, being happy in the real world is better than being on YouTube, trust me. Uh, hoping you enjoy the Zippos. In no hurry, of course. I had a duplicate of the 540. I think it's uh, pretty rad. Uh, for the etching, anything you're into is cool. And me and him talked about this. We are going to do the Sonic at Impales Hedgehog on a uh, blue, on a blue sapphire. Uh, I, I at least know that that is in here. So let us check it out. All right. So I'll just put these here. Seems there is some movement. Uh, first things first. Look at this. What is this? Oh, it's tied up and oh, it's got this little elastic on it. I've never seen these before. And it stays on the package. Elements. Oh, and they got the... Oh, sick. Are these flavored? Sugar gum. Yeah, they are. Nice. Sick. I needed those. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. And you know what's funny? I'm running out of cotton bacon and he sent me some cotton bacon. Like, that's so, that, that's so like, convenient. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Uh, I love the cotton bacon. I am almost out. I got enough to pack maybe two or three more inserts. Uh, but I just use the same insert all the time. Uh, I'm going to pack, since he sent me some cotton bacon, I'm going to repack his insert for him. Uh, everyone, everyone likes an insert packed by a Zippo Fanatic. <laughs> You know, people people do appreciate that. So now let's get into the Zippos. Let's see what he uh, sent here. Okay, uh, I seen that it said 540. I didn't read the rest, so I'll put that down. And okay, so here is one. We have uh, 24756 Ebony. Uh, I do not own one of these Zippos. I own one that is like it, but is not a pure Ebony. Oh, dang. That's, that's really nice. That is really nice. Like, that feels like... That feels like metal. Huh. 
Huh. It is a G21. Oh, it's a newer one too. And that's the black ebony. Now, the only thing I have close to a black ebony is the occult Zippo. I believe the occult Zippo is on an ebony thing. It says it in the description and, and it feels just like it and looks just like it. So I, the, ebony is a very nice finish. I do like that. I'm curious to whether I can etch that. I wonder if it's like a metal coating or like a high gloss matte or something. I don't know. I, I'm not too sure what an ebony finish really, really is. Uh, so I'm not really sure. And then the next one. Oh, another purple abyss. Good. Now I have two of these purple abysses. What do we get here for day code? Oh, H21. So this is my son's birthday zippo. Obviously just not the year. All great shape. Oh man, I like the purple abysses. So now I have two and now I'm definitely going to be... Now I'm definitely going to be customizing one for sure. Oh! And that's the blue sapphire. Oh, it's in a premium box. <laughs> that's funny. It's in a premium box. And that's the blue sapphire. I've never actually held one. Uh, and this one's also an H21 too. Uh, this one, as you can see here, it's also H21. Uh, man, the blue sapphire is really nice. And uh, I will be, uh, I want to do a custom on this, so I'm going to be doing a practice etch on this. Uh, I'm just going to be doing it on the bottom stamp to make sure I could etch it for him. This is what he wants it on. Uh, and it makes sense because it's blue, so Sonic and Tails definitely makes sense. Uh, I'll probably, I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to keep this premium box on him. <laughs> but I'll, gi I'll give him something else in return that he, <laughs> that he will enjoy. <laughs> But if you need this box back, Thomas, let me know. Let me know. All right, so that leaves one more left. And just by chance, I happen to pick the best one for last. I don't know what in the, what, is, what is in this. Uh, this is a surprise from Thomas. Uh, I have no idea what it is. And it's a 540, though. I do know that. He told me it was a 540. So I'm excited to see which one this is because uh, I just started getting into 540s. And I got, uh, like right now, my everyday carry is the Wolf Design. Oh, it's over there. It's not, sorry, it's not by me. Uh, I was looking for one through my pockets. It's not in there. Uh, so I did see it. Okay, nautical tattoo design. Yes, yes. That is sick. What a nice Zippo. Look at, I love that pirate skull and the compass right here. That looks so nice. Time and tide wait for no man. Yeah, that's a good saying right there. I got the lighthouse, vibrant colors on here. Uh, the anchor, you know, that's very symbolic too. That's supposed to mean something. Uh, anchor is very popular meaning. Uh, keeps you grounded or whatever. And then the, the another cool skull, some flowers. Oh, it says Zippo on the top too. And that cool script of uh, writing. Oh, man, this is really nice. What year is this one? Oh, it is a... Oh, is that a D? Yes, this is my birthday Zippo. So it's a D21. Perfect perfect even better man what insert doesn't have in it matching insert too. another d21 insert for myself i know it's a year off for sweet little Aki to be liking this one but <laughs> oh man so that's so cool i love this 540 that is that is such a i just love the colors i love the simple images the painting the tattoo design the ship, the saying on it, like what a well done lighter. Like when Zippo, when Zippo really puts their head together, or, well, I guess they paid an artist. So, so when they find a good artist, <laughs> it really looks good, man. Like uh, just to show everyone, I can pull out my other 540s now. I think uh, just to show everyone what we're working with here. Uh, so there's the snake. I'll show you guys all. Okay, and there's another wolf. Uh, that's my Velma. I won't need to show that. Okay, and there's the occult design. So it turns out that the occult is the black ebony finish. There's no difference in it. You can see. 
Uh, I love this occult one. It's also a 540. Goes all the way around. And number 13. Some occult symbols. Just dark, gothic, cool stuff. I like that imagery. Uh, and then I got a couple wolves. I got the 540 wolves. Uh, this is one of my favorite 540s of all time. I absolutely love it. Just the bright colors. And I'm using the soft flame butane insert in it right now. Really enjoy that lighter too. Uh, and then the next one is the snake design. It's another premium 540. Uh, it's the snake skin. Goes all the way around. I absolutely love this Zippo too. Uh, but I haven't actually used it once yet. Uh, I do have to pull that out one day. But now to have the... I'm going to be using this. Like <laughs> That is sick. That is a nice one to pull out. Like uh, It's just bright. And uh, I love the artwork on here. Whoever did this did a really good job. And uh, definitely knows what they're doing. I would like to see more 540s like following this designs and traits. And like how cool they can do it. I absolutely love this. Uh, so thanks, Thomas. I also have a surprise for you that I'm going to be sending back with you. Uh, it's uh, It'll be pretty damn sweet. I, I'm sure you won't have one of these. <laughs> But I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you. Uh, I will let you discover that at, when you open it. Uh, so, guys, that was the video. And that was that was the mystery box that I got from my boy Thomas. Uh, that was super awesome, man. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to probably get that done. Like I said, I got four days off. I want to get all these. I got a bunch of customs piled up here. Uh, I want to get them all done and shipped out. So I'm just done with them. And uh, I might have a few more in a couple weeks to do. And then I think that will that should be the end of the run. Uh, so anyone who does want one of my customs, uh, my engraved customs, just check out my shorts for what I do. Uh, you're going to have to get them to me soon because, like, I'm not going to be making customs all summer. Here and there, I might do one as a favor for somebody or someone really wants one bad enough. You know, I might, I might be able to find the time, you know, do one a month maybe. But that, that might be the only ones I do is just maybe one a month. I was thinking about it. And I don't want to completely stop because I like to keep my skills honed and crafted and always on my mind, right? So, uh, but anyone else, take care. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we got more videos coming. I'm going to be doing some unboxing videos on these in the next few weeks. I know you guys all seen them here, but uh, they're, video they're Zippos I don't have, so I'd like to do them for the channel. Uh, just as like, you know, public record, basically, and my opinions on them. People like to see that. So, sorry, guys. I just keep talking here. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Take care.